Hey traders, this is Blake Morrow with Forex Analytics and also Trader Funding Program. I'm excited for you to watch this presentation from Nick of Jupiter, and he's gonna tell you the do's and the don'ts of prop trading for the Trader Funding Program, and also prop trading in general. But before I do that, I wanna make sure that I, I tell you, if you have any questions, make sure you watch this video. It's a two minute video on the Trader Funding Program website. It'll tell you about the program. Also down below, there's a chat box where you can chat with our support any questions that you might have about the program itself. Anyway, enjoy this video presentation from Nick of Jupiter. Hey guys, Nick of Jupiter here. I uh, just want to introduce myself. I've been trading since 2012 or so, trading more seriously for about seven years here. I trade Forex, crypto, and stocks, pretty much anything. And um, you know, I've been following Forex analytics since Chat with Traders, since Blake was on Chat with Traders, excellent podcast for those of you that haven't heard it. That was in 2016, so that was a solid seven years ago. And I've been following them ever since, obviously. Blake, the team, all the stuff they put out is great. And today we're gonna to talk about the pros and cons of trading prop. Now, as many of you know, Forex Analytics has a trader funding program. So I'm gonna talk about what it's like to trade a funded account. I have passed two of their accounts. I'm trading the million dollar account right now. So we're gonna talk about how to scale up from a small account to a large account and why it's worth it. And I've also failed the challenge a couple of times. So don't think it's all rainbows and butterflies. Trading is hard. And today I'm gonna to give you my best effort, my best thoughts on how to help you succeed. Um, we're gonna talk about both the pros and the cons and what better time than now than when I'm in a drawdown in the accounts because we're gonna talk about how to manage drawdowns so you don't get wrecked. All right guys, um, thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and smash that like button. Hope this video earns your thumbs up and let's jump right into the pros and cons. All right, so as we said, we're gonna talk about the pros and cons of trading prop and we have this little slideshow, so let's jump right into it guys. Real quickly, again, who am I? Um, Nick of Jupiter, currency trader, crypto trader. Um, I do have a crypto and trading YouTube channel and I travel the world because that's why trading is the best job in the world, right? You can do it from anywhere, anytime. That includes prop trading, right? All you need is an internet connection and a laptop. You don't need the thousand screens. I certainly don't have the thousand screens. Uh, actually, I traveled with a MacBook Air for two years and so visited over 30 countries, learned a lot, traded from, from all those countries, um, and... Um, I failed many times. I think this one's very, very important because a lot of traders get discouraged. We've all heard of the fact that 90% of traders fail um, and prop has some strict rules, which we're gonna talk about in a second here. So it might be a little scary or intimidating if you're a newer trader. And so you have to make sure you're ready and you already have a system before you jump into the challenge. But we're gonna talk about the pros and cons again. I just wanna highlight that I've failed many times, right? I've been fired from every job I've ever had because well, I was trading at the jobs. I worked in corporate finance and FP&A, so doing kind of financial accounting um, uh, and planning stuff. Very, very boring for me. I was trading all the time. Got filed, um, went to a programming boot camp and spent 10000 of my <laughs> hard-earned profits there. Tried to learn there, built a website and launched it. Tried to raise money from VCs, very hard pre-revenue, even though we had about 1,000 users. Built an app and launched it um, as well very hard, failed there, I was on the iPhone store. Um, I, I've blown accounts, right? As you most, you, you know, you can, most successful traders have blown one or two accounts. The the, the thing is, are you learning from that um, or, or are you just a gambler by nature? If you're a gambler by nature, then this video is not for you and honestly trading is not for you. But if you can um, blow an account and, and then kind of learn read, realize your mistakes and realize it's a math game and a numbers game, realize why what happened happened and kind of fix those changes and act differently. If you have that kind of discipline or you think you have it and you really, really love trading because you know it's not easy, right? I say I traveled the world, but I was never by the swimming pool like you're gonna see on Instagram. Um, so don't think you're gonna be this prop trader with this fancy life by the swimming pool. I guess you could do that, but it's it's not the way, right? Trading is a hard work. Uh, you need to journal, you need to back test, you need to log your trade prepare for them, set alerts, all these things. And you need to show up every single day, um, depending what you're trading, if you're trading stocks, when the market opens, till the market closes, whatever it may be. Okay, it's, it's emotionally tough. Um, but I've, I've failed many times and, and, and I did learn. You know, as Jordan said, I failed many times and that is why I succeed. Okay, and we're gonna talk about how to come back from failure. Okay, so mindset. 
This is from one of the Market Wizards books. If you're familiar with trading, uh, you've probably read the Jack Schwager books. If you haven't, I recommend them. They're excellent. There's about five of them. My favorite is actually Unknown Market Wizards, which is cool because it corresponds to the average guy, people like you and me, um, because Unknown Market Wizards is not about guys who went on to run hedge funds. It's about retail traders and how they amassed millions of dollars or small fortunes. Um, so check out that book. But this is a quote from one of those books. You have to learn to not be impulsive and to not do silly things in the interim periods, the space between the notes. One of the mistakes I made in those early years was that when, I, when nothing was going on, I would force marginal trades, wasting mental and financial capital instead of waiting for the unicorn that would eventually show up. Learning from that mistake was one of the pivotal lessons in my trading career. I now know that 90% of the time, the market is not going to provide any opportunities and 10% of the time, I will make 90% of the profit. This is huge. This is huge to all trading, whether it's prop or not. But the reason I say it is because a lot of people get excited because when you trade prop, you, you and when you get that funded account, when you pass, you're going to have euphoria. You're going to have all these emotions and you're going to have access to a large pool of capital that you've never had access to before. And so you have to really control your emotions um, more so in prop than in normal retail. Um, depending on how, how your discipline is. But, um, you know, over trading is a huge deal. I, I'm a chronic over trader, right? And it's something I have to learn to deal with and, um, and manage uh, during those drawdowns, which we're going to talk about in a second here. Um, but I thought this quote was excellent. Um, so you guys always remember this. And, um, you know, try not to waste your bullets. You need to have your bullets for when the battle arrives. You can't just be shooting at everything. Okay. Um, again, more so in prop because of that initial euphoria and because you're going to have some drawdown rules um, in, your, in your prop account. Okay. So prop trading, what is it? Let's, let's start talking about it now. Um, I believe, again, you guys probably know that prop is when you pass a demo challenge, um, which is a paper trading account. You're trading fake money and to prove to them that you can trade, right? And if you can make 10% on the demo without losing 5%, we'll talk about the rules later, then you qualify for the real money and you get funded. In my opinion, there is no method of scaling there's no method of scaling up in trading that even comes close to trading a funded account. Every other method is going to lead you into developing bad habits. Simply being aware of the option that prop firm exists allows you to focus on the process and the skill set. Let's dive into the benefits of trading prop and what you will learn. Now, what I mean by this is that it's the best method of scaling up and nothing comes close. What I mean by this is if you have a thousand dollars or you have 10,000, it's not going to turn into a million. It's just not going to happen. And a lot of beginner traders, I knew I knew this when I was 18 or I thought this. I thought I was on a 10x, 100x my money, make millions from small starting capital. And that's simply not the way that risk works. And that's not the way the trading game works, right? That's a casino. That's a fallacy. That's maybe a crypto you buy a meme coin a, a sh coin whatever it may be that's not trading though that's high risk investing and balls of steel and 99 percent of them go to zero and it's just gambling it's not a game you play you can hit up the slot machines for that um, i'm not trying to discourage you you shouldn't be discouraged because like i say here even knowing that prop that be, even being aware of this option allows you to focus on the process and the skill set what do i mean by that Okay, all hope is not lost. You're not going to 100x your $1,000 account, but if you can just focus on the process and the skill set, which means make make 5% a month. Make 5% a month on your $1,000 account, which is $50 a month. Okay, make $50 a month for a year. I guarantee you this is the most important thing you could ever do. It is more important than making 10K, making 50K with a big winner, even though your hit rate is 10%, um, then, you know, getting lucky, whatever it may be. Because if you can do this, it's a superpower, okay? Because again, if you can do something good, there's going, there's people in the world that pay you to do that thing. LeBron James is good at basketball. He gets paid to play basketball. And if someone's good at playing tennis, they get paid to play tennis. If you're good at teaching, you can be a professor, okay? If you're good at trading, if you have this skill, 5% a month without big drawdowns, you can trade prop. That's why it's important. And being aware that this option exists allows you to focus on the process of making 5% a month and the skill set of trading instead of focusing on get rich quick. Okay, because you know that if you can do that, it doesn't matter if, if, if these first two years are out of college or wherever you are out of your new job, if you're 30, 40, there's no age limit. 50. You can start at any time and it doesn't matter. You don't need to make a million dollars in your first three years because if you can just make 5% a month, well, guess what? You can get access to a million dollars like this and now your whole life has changed. Now you have a career and an income source and now you can make 5% a month or 2% a month 
of a million dollars, that's $20,000 a month. Now, who couldn't live off $20,000 a month? Okay, it's a vital skill, um, and there's no method of scaling up that even comes close because you're not going to scale up a small account to a very large account. You can do very well, but it's just a much faster method of scaling up and allows you to focus by thinking this way on the skill set. Okay, what are the benefits of trading prop? Um, obviously, the capital. You're not risking your own capital, so it's a lower risk, right? Even if you had a hundred thousand, um, you know why 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 trade a hundred thousand of your own and put it all at risk? You could you could end up losing streak, going in a twenty percent drawdown, losing losing your initial capital. When you could pay one thousand dollars to get funded a hundred thousand prop account. Now you have a prop account and you keep most of the profits, seventy five percent of the profits. So you only risk one thousand as opposed to risking your hundred thousand. And guess what? You take the ninety nine K, you have a down payment for a house. You take the ninety nine ninety nine K, you put it in some REITs or put in some dividend ETFs or some Bitcoin, some longer term investments, um, whatever it may be. Okay? Some dividends. And now you made very efficient use of your capital, right? Um, you have a trading account funded, it cost you 1K. Um, you're not risking your own capital to trade and you can still produce income. And you put your 100K to work elsewhere. Habits, this is what we talked about in the last, in the last slide. Um, um, you're gonna create the proper habits, risk management habits, because prop, tra prop trading has rules, right? You cannot lose 4% in one day. You cannot have a 5% total drawdown. So you're gonna get into proper habits, only risking 1% max per trade, but ideally, you know, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5% per trade of the account. Get into these proper risk habits, um, proper, profit taking habits um, that's what props going to do because guess what if you fail you hit the five percent you cancel you lose your account you got to start over and it's still a better way to scale up okay because listen if you have 100k you can try a hundred times and i guarantee you if you do 100 demos you're going to get funded you're going to learn the hard way um, you're going to get funded at least 70 of them 89 you know yeah after the start you're going to get funded every time because you've learned so maybe in the first 10 you miss five you're going to get funded 95 times <laughs> you're going to have 9.5 million not really but nine, you can get funded 95 times with the same amount of money and, and get 100k 95 times and, and it just doesn't make sense to risk your own money right um you can scale with profits what do i mean by that well you can get funded for a hundred thousand dollar account with one thousand dollars then focus on the process, make profits, and don't use your own money. Scale up the entire way. Once you make 5K of profits, you can withdraw the 5K from your prop account and use the 5K to take the demo challenge for the 500K prop account, right? You just 5X your capital. Then you trade that, and then you use profits from that to scale up to the million. I did this myself, okay? My first failed the, the prop when I first started, I was too excited. I failed a couple times and one of them, I just let it go. Um, it, it was stupid. I got funded for the 500K account. What I did was I withdrew 30 something thousand dollars um, and I used 10K of what I withdrew to take the million dollar challenge. And now I'm funded million, 20 other K, um, you know, I just, I just earned. Okay. And so, yeah, you can scale up with profits. You're gonna get access to brokers, instruments, and margin. What do I mean by that? Now, certain brokers, they don't take US citizens or other country citizens. ACAP is one example, which is the prop firm that Forex Analytics uses. ACAP, they don't take US citizens, but I can trade on ACAP now through the prop firm. Why? Because it's the prop firm's account. It is not under my name. I am trading that as an independent contractor, okay? So you can ac access to brokers you wouldn't have access to. Access to instruments you might not have access to, depending on your where you live, you might not have access to futures or margin or crypto or, or whatever it may be. So you're gonna get access to these kinds of things and it's gonna open up the possibilities of which assets you can trade. Taxes, again, I said independent contractor, so you're actually taxed um, as normal salary, as income. So it's gonna be income tax um, instead of short-term or long-term capital gains, depending on your trading or investment philosophy. Now this one, take it with a grain of salt. I don't know if it's a benefit, but it's gonna depend on your jurisdiction. Um, that's gonna be capital gains versus income. Um, speak with a tax professional, that is certainly not me. Proper risk management, okay? Again, you're gonna learn how to manage your risk properly because if you fail the demo once or twice or fail the real thing once or twice, you're gonna really hate losing that funded access and you're not gonna to wanna to drop a K 10 times and drop 10K um, you know, to, to get that 100K account. You're gonna drop one or two or three and you're gonna really learn a proper risk management and how to manage your drawdowns, which we're gonna have a whole slide where we're gonna talk about that. Permissionless. 
Now I'm a big on permissionist. That's why I'm big into crypto. Permissionist essentially means you can do something without permission. It's open sourced. It's it's and this is what I love about trading. It's the best job in the world, but more so about prop. Um, back in the day, before the internet and the retail and the trading computer, the personal computer, you had to go to Wall Street or wherever the prop firm was and apply. And and I don't know how the process worked. I'm not that old. You guys can ask Blake <laughs> or Dale. <laughs> Ask coach, um, but it's permissionless, right? You don't need to even ask or sign up or, or anything. You literally just log onto the website, click a button, pay a thousand. You can pay with PayPal, you can pay with Bitcoin, and you don't need to talk to anyone. I hate having bosses, that's why I love trading. Totally permissionless. You don't have a boss, you can just sign up for the prop, and, and a week later, you could have a million dollars funded or however long it takes you, right? Totally permissionless, no, no co workers, no nothing. Um, so that's cool um career flexibility okay you're gonna have a career now you got to think of this as a career this touches with the thing we said about um get rich quick is not the way this is a career so think about it as monthly income you need to develop these habits and these mindsets i want to make five percent a month it might not sound like a lot to whatever capital you have now but if you're trading a million dollar account five percent a month is fifty thousand dollars a month now that sounds good doesn't it okay so this is your career what what kind of career are you replacing with 50 that's a 500 100k 600k you know that's ceo money okay so it's a flexible career as long as you think about it as a career if you're trying to get rich quick and expedite the process you're only going to do yourself harm better cost bigger account more volume um, less transaction fees that's good access to pro tools and platforms um, for example on this one fund the trader program you guys get access i believe we do have access for two years to forex analytics and all the guys are in there and they're posting the analysis every day and they have the whole community which you have access to so how does it work um you guys i'm going to not spend too much time on this because you probably know this already you sign up for the demo challenge you pay the fee so if you're trying to get a hundred thousand dollar funded account you pay a thousand you sign up now you're going to trade paper trading you got to pass that challenge by abiding to the prop firm rules and achieving 10 percent profits without having a five percent drawdown or four percent daily drawdown now the daily drawdown is easy guys if you're down one percent or two percent a day come back tomorrow that one no one should ever um, okay, um, fail the prop for, for that one. But the 5%, we're going to talk about managing that risk. Okay, once you do pass, you receive your login info for a funded live money account. You sign the contract virtually, and within 48 hours or so, you're going to have that, and you're going to be able to log on and trade real money, and you keep 75% of your profits. You're allowed to withdraw once per month. Now, what does that mean? If I make 100K and I withdraw 100K, I get $75,000 okay so you keep 75 percent of your profits now are you ready to do this you shouldn't do this if you're a complete beginner um not even the paper trading make sure you can trade like i said at the beginning and make five percent consistently on whether it's your small account or your retail account or your paper trading account make sure you have a system make sure you have these six pillars you need to have back tested something i don't care if you didn't invent a new strategy if you trade um you know how i trade or if you trade how blake trades or how andre trades pure harmonics or how grega trades with pure elliott waves um or just trade double tops and no one invented double tops okay um you know noah was trading double tops on the arc okay but back test it okay uh, just so you have data in your mind because you need to get scientific with this thing um so go go back on your charts whatever time frame you trade and back test 1000 double tops because you need it's not just double tops you need to know what qualifies as a double top for you when do you enter when do you exit okay and put, log a thousand trades on an excel sheet on the time frame or the assets you trade because you need that data and journal that data journal your trading every day okay because you need to do this and if you're going to turn this into a career again even if you didn't invent it you need to know that um, the way you trade double tops um, you can expect to win about 40 percent of them with an expectancy of two percent per trade taken and you need to know that um, you know you're, you're going to win three times more than your losers um, with the way you take profits okay then you're going to know what to look for this is your pillar so when you scan the charts um, you know it's, it's fun to do analysis sometimes you can get deeper into but you should know what you're looking for you should be able to john carter has a cool quote he says it doesn't take me more than five seconds to look at a chart because you know if you're only the double top guy or only the harmonic guy you don't see the m shape you know that that's what you're looking for um and that's it 
Um, trading is a bunch of 1% bets. This is another quote from the Market Wizard series. I loved it. Um, we just make a bunch of 1% bets. You need to know your risk management. That's one of your pillars. Know when to exit. Everyone makes a big deal about entries, but in trading, exits are actually way more important than entries, okay? Um, and that's a whole other thing for a whole other video. But you got to know when you're exiting in your system and you got to know how to manage drawdowns, especially in prop. Uh, last slide about why prop, because 90% of traders fail. Right. And if this is the truth, um, prop has 1% of the startup cost, because again, instead of 100K, 1K to get 100K of trading, and you're going to keep 75% of those profits. Let's do the math here. You're not expected to pass the first time, but that's not sinister. Yes, prop is a good business for the prop firm itself, but it's actually a numbers game for us as in the odds are in our favor as well. As long as we know how to manage the drawdowns, um, this is very lucrative. Um, so let's talk about the last slide here, managing drawdowns. Okay, you need to reduce risk. Know the difference between systems trading and discretionary trading. The same thing applies here. You might have heard if you read a lot of trading, like I do, a lot of books, um, and listen to a lot of traders. Um, some people say you cannot, you cannot lower your position size because then your big winner is going to come and you're going to miss it and this kind of thing. This is very different. This is for systems traders. If you're a systems trader, which means you make no decisions, you trade like a robot. When this happens at four o'clock and it's raining, that's when I long this and I exit at two to one. Like if you're a pure systems trader, then those are the guys when that rule applies to. You don't, all your positions need to be the same size because if not your back testing goes out the window. Okay. But if you're a discretionary trader, that's completely different. If you're more discretionary, less system, you're kind of just, you know, what you're looking for, you know, what kind of trades you like. Um, and especially if you're a prop trader, so if you're discretionary or prop, you need to reduce risk on drawdowns. What do I mean by this? Um, well, okay, you can only lose 5% on a drawdown before they close your account. So if you risk 0.5% per trade and you lose four in a row, let's say you're going to be down 2%. You can only lose 3% more now before you lose your account. Are you going to continue to risk 0.5 per, per trade, which only gives you six more chances? No, you should not do that. You should cut that in half at this point and risk 0.25. Now you can lose 12 more in a row before you lose your prop account. This is huge. So again, if you're a discretionary non-prop trader, they do this as well to kind of find themselves, fix themselves, clear their head. If you're a prop trader, you need to get into this habit of reducing your risk. If, if, <laughs> You know, if you only have five more trades, turn that into 15. Okay, give yourself chances to build a cushion. Take a break from live trading. Go ahead, go go do some more back testing of your system, forward testing if you want to paper trade it. Figure out if the market conditions are different. Read your journal. See if you're being emotional. If you're not in the right mindset to trade, take a break. Come back with a clear mind and that hard data from back testing with strong newfound belief in your system. Focus on building a cushion when you come back. This is going to lead to your mastery. The name of the game is survival and modest growth. Master your emotions, your mindset, and your future. Last slide here. Trading is a marathon, not a sprint. Your equity curve should look like this, gradually growing every year, like the tail of the turtle versus the rabbit. Trying to expedite it is only going to set you back. Aim for steady income and an up and to the right equity curve because if you focus on that process, you will find consistency and more money than if you focus on just the money. Believe me, believe all the traders who have told you so, um, this is the way, okay? So that about sums it up, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I don't wanna make this video too long for Blake and the FA guys. So I hope you learned something. Leave a comment down below. Make sure to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Let us know your thoughts on if you're thinking about trading prop, on your trading experiences, or if you have any questions, I'm sure the team will be happy to help you out. And um, thanks guys for letting me produce this video for your channel. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Much love.